everyone, my name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch with me. Today we are back with more Amphibia. I am super hyped to continue watching. Hope you guys are as well. We are watching season two, episode 19, The Dinner and Battle of the Bones. I am hyped. I've not watched the promos, but I've seen there's a bunch of promos going around. I've kept my eyes closed to them. But I am aware there's been a lot of promos. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing this is a very good episode. There's promos. And apparently there's songs too. Because I saw Matt post something about that. So I'm hyped for this episode. Music and my amphibia. Oh hell yeah. So super excited to see what we got going on. We got Sasha part of the gang. We got Grimes. Stuff's gonna go down. So I am excited. So, so excited. Um, please keep in mind, guys, to go support the official release of Amphibia over on the Disney Plus app and on the Disney Now website. It's the best place to watch Amphibia. And, of course, if you like my content, check out my Patreon page. Link down in the description below to get access to my full timer reactions over there. But without further ado, let's get started. Believe the trio's finally back together. Yeah, yeah right. Charge all three stones, and Sasha's turning over a new leaf. Things are really looking up. That's all great, but did you have ah! to invite Grime? Bravo! I love you. Please try and be in your best behavior tonight. This dinner party is an important step for us, and it has to go well. Marcy and I have changed so much, in Amphibia. I really think Sasha's finally changing too. I haven't changed. Oh. Everyone will find me vulnerable. Unguarded and totally sweet. Could you uh -huh. at least remove the sword? And the hidden daggers. But what do I need them? <sighs> Sasha, girl! How did you even walk? Okay, that can't be comfortable. Okay, here they are. Oh, no, uh, and cool. your outfit Remember, is this so This isn't the same Sasha who tried to kill you and take over Amphibia. Planters don't oh, hold your Hey, Dan! Uh-huh. Don't kill me! He's home! <laughs> Polly, what did you just say? I make a volcano. It needs a little more time to rise, but it's sure to end the night with a devastating explosion of chocolatey goodness. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. Looks like... We're all finally back together! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Give are loud! They are! They are, it's true. Sorry, ah! this is taken. <laughs> Spring! <laughs> but this little jerk. <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyone need a cough drop? <laughs> serving people, being all cute. Way better than that dorky medieval school play we were in. Remember how I convinced you guys to skip rehearsal and hang out on the roof? And we had the loudest dance party? That's Why do you stop doing stuff like that? Well, when we got caught, Anne took the blame and said it was her idea. My parents grounded me for a month. Oh. oh. Yeah, forgot about that. Eh. It's in the past. We're all different people now. Or are we? Sprague, just... I. You're right, but... Mm, just let them get together, okay? Okay, V. 
Vicky, calm down. Hey, Vicky, won't you please explain why you get so much enjoyment out of causing kids pain? He, I, <sighs> whatever, my turn. Since I got it right. <laughs> okay. She's a little competitive. <clears throat> to work out. Think this whole thing can work? I think we can definitely give it a shot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll allow it, I guess. I'll allow it. Give me more. Give me more. Yeah, the house is destroyed, so. Alright, so first episode, the dinner. I it was hard it was hard everything just felt uncomfortable as it should have been because it was uncomfortable like these two people who have tried to harm each other two groups i should say that tried to harm each other kind of did harm each other you know uh coming together is uncomfortable but i really enjoyed how well the show added that awkwardness and no offense, okay? But maybe some offense. The planters are not innocent here, okay? They are not innocent. I know the show takes their side because Anne is on their side. But Sasha's not entirely wrong. Anne was being a little biased. She's like, well, yeah, you guys tried to kill them. But at the same time, y'all tried to hurt them too. Like, you destroyed their home. You started this rebellion. You fucked shit up. Like... They deserve some sympathy, too. They lost everything. And this was the hierarchy. I mean, Toad Tower is, like, the whole structure of this world, you know? Like, these towers are given out by the newts and given charge by toads. So, you know, the planters aren't innocent. And they were the ones that kept bringing it up. Like, oh, you know, that's the tower that we blew up and you fell off of. They, they weren't being great and extending an olive branch either. Like, yes, you could defend them by saying, oh, well, they were just, you know, uh, making light of the situation, moving past it. But, like, I don't think anyone was ready yet to do that. So I don't think that's what they were doing. So I, I just want to make that very clear that I actually... I'm very in the middle because Sasha didn't do her best to keep herself under control and try to extend the olive branch, but the planters didn't do that great of a job either. I think the best person was just Marcy, but Marcy has no reason to be mad at either of them because she's like, oh, that sucks, but didn't do it to me, so I don't really have a reason to be vengeful towards you or anything. So it, it was an awkward situation, but I feel like they made the most of it. I feel like them getting to have that fight helped remind them just how in sync they are and how they can depend on one another when times get hard. 
And I think that's going to be very relevant next week in True Colors. So I, I am nervous just because I don't know how everything is going to go down. And the fact that we are probably all going to have to work together to stop the king because we know he is not a good mamma jamma. So it's going to be interesting to say the least. But along with that, I love the um, Pictionary game that they played. I thought it was really funny. The um, volcano cake was interesting. It looked very good in the end. But um, wouldn't want to deal with those like wasps. <laughs> No, thank you. Don't put wasps in my cake. And oh. And yeah, no, it, it was just a good, good episode. I love that Frobo is just in the background of everything too. He's just such a good little frog boy. I hope that he'll get some, some time and maybe we'll learn something about him next week in True Colors too. Because I'm guessing the king probably knows something as well. So it's going to be interesting. So very excited. Simmer down. <clears throat> now, I know we've all been a little on edge since Sasha and Captain Grime came oh. to stay in Wartwood. What? Why? Because we invaded the town? Yeah, it was just one time. Why is one time water under the bridge? It's still one time. One time too many. Come on, massage train. <laughs> Massage train. <laughs> right, everyone, get your teams together and start rehearsing. What wood is having a battle of the band? <laughs> Sasha and the Sharks reunion. The what and the who? It was a garage band the three of us had back home. We used to slay. <laughs> I found the shirts. Why is everything you say so aggro? Oh, it really is. You guys want to join me in Love with Dog Band? Oh. <laughs> Come on, ladies. We can practice in my room. All right, sir. I'm ready for rehearsal. Are you kidding me, Tony? I just bought myself a 12-hour nap. Why don't you oh. take a little time for yourself? The oh, time warm. Oh, Tony! Maybe you can join someone else's band. You seem very enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha and the Sharks are back, baby. So, what song should we play at the battle? We should definitely play my song Heartstopper. It was always a hit back home. <clears throat> Actually, I wrote a song about Amphibia and I was hoping oh, we could play it together. Baby! A few moments later. These lyrics are all over the place tonally. They'll have to change. Oh. Are these bug suits? Oh, no, no, no. No, God! Let's put some of this down. Andrew. No, God, please, no! 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 And get not enough from it. No! You don't get to boss around Frobo, okay? That's where I draw the line. It's just different. That's called collaboration, Anne. This isn't collaboration. It's a hostile takeover. Why do things always have to be your way? Ooh. <laughs> Holly. So now, once again, I'm forcing you to do things my way. You know what? Maybe I should just leave and join a different band. Yeah. Stop, don't come back. What do you want? Crazy! How would you like to be in a band with me? Yeah, no, I'm a sentiment. Oh. Looks like I'm a solo act. Unless I can find someone who wants to do everything I say. <sighs> no! Tony! Tony, no! 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 Instead of C sharp. Love it. Oh, and maybe at the end we could do the splits. No problem. And how about we shoot you out of a cannon? Totally here for it. Come on, Aww. don't just agree with everything I'm saying. What's your actual opinion? Most people don't realize just how fun it can be to support someone you really care about. Oh. Huh. Well, thanks for that perspective, you weird little butler frog. I did not think Toady was going to teach her something. That's crazy. <coughs> I wrote singing tulips. Oh, Chuck, that's wonderful. Oh my God, Sasha and Tony. Hey, guys. Those costumes are giant. I'm a dragonfly. A dragonfly. Oh. I just want all of us to succeed. Just being a good friend. Why couldn't they see that? Being a good friend just means being there for them when they need it the most. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, bro. <laughs> Super weird, box, super weird, tell us what we're about to talk. Oh, oh this is so cute! <laughs> oh, they're all big eyed and teary. You. Oh. Ten out of ten. Oh, 
out of 10. Such a cute song. Right time. Oh. oh. As much as it pains me to lose, it's worth it to have so much fun with you guys up there. Uh, as I understand it, you three girls will be leaving us soon. Yep, with the box charged, we'll be heading to Utopia tomorrow for the king to send us home. Can we take a group photo? Heck yeah! Aww. <laughs> that was so cute! But I'm so scared for next week! True colors! The Battle of the Bands. I can say number one, Heartstopper, and then the Amphibia song. I don't know if it has a name. I'm sure it does on iTunes or wherever, but um, I thought they were both super cute. I loved um, Anne's song. I just loved the, it's no big deal. Like, it's just a cute little song, a little ditty. So definitely excited to get to listen to those songs more um, coming up here after I'm done watching this. <laughs> Um, along with that, though, I felt like we learned some important things here. And I did not expect Tony to have, like, a relevant episode that he taught someone something. That was very shocking to me. Uh, the fact that Tony taught Sasha things. Will Sasha really take that and learn? Probably not, but I think she'll take it with a tiny little grain of salt of it. And maybe think things through. Like she did. She realized that it's very annoying when someone just constantly goes along with her. She's like, can't you just have an opinion or tell me what you think? And at the same time, she was also very annoyed that Anne was not willing to take everything she said. So it's kind of like, what do you want, Sasha? Huh, girlfriend? You're being a little confusing. But it was good overall. Um, I love, love, loved all the girls' outfits. It was good. Tony looks good too with his little uh, eyeliner on. <laughs> but I loved Anne's beautiful blue outfit and Marcy's personification of metamorphosis. <laughs> and Sasha's rocker outfit was just tight, y'all. And Grimes really coming through there with that beautiful harp. Just vibing and lulling everyone off into a crying sensation of tears. Really good, really good episode. I just am so nervous for next week. <laughs> I cannot stress that enough. And, you know, it's, it's going to be scary. I thought that maybe we would start taking the trip over to Newtopia, but we haven't. So I don't know if we're just going to kind of zoop ourselves there and just kind of ignore the trip up or if we are going to stop on a cliffhanger. Not sure, but it'll be interesting. I think True Colors kind of rings in a little bit more than just someone revealing who they are. I think we're going to have to deal with True Colors of number one. Our friendship, who we are, and also Anne didn't recharge her stone all the way, which I truly think is a blessing in disguise. I think that's going to be what saves us in the end because the king will not be able to use the box correctly because the stone is not fully charged. And I think that's where we'll start season three is now knowing the king is bad. And hopefully Marcy understanding the king is bad and not siding with him. I am a little nervous about that point. I think Marcy kind of knows some things that Anne and Sasha do not. They're not privy to information just because they were not there. I think Marcy knows things and I'm scared that Marcy may have a bit of more of a hand than I'd like her into this. I want to think that she's ignorant to what may happen with the Calamity Box, but I think she might know things, and I'm a little afraid that we might get betrayed, and that's how Sasha and Anne come together, because Marcy's betrayal. But I don't know. I want to believe that she's totally ignorant and doesn't know anything and is just being Marcy, la 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 la. But who's to say, like... 
let's be honest, in the opening, she's kind of got an ominous look about her. Like, her back is turned, her cape is flying, she's got the box. And so she may know things. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Along with that, it could also be that Marcy and Sasha get teleported home and Anne doesn't because Anne's gem isn't charged and something bad happens here and Anne's left alone. Who knows? There's, there's so many possibilities that can happen in the next episode. Um, so many possibilities for season three because obviously there's going to be a season three. So I am... I'm nervous, but excited. I, I'm glad we have some fun music to listen to and keep us calm while we wait. But <laughs> there's there's a lot of nervousness going on here. I My stomach is like, because I'm just, I, I don't know what to expect, y'all. So it's going to be interesting. So I'm crossing my fingers that maybe Sasha and Grimes stay in their best behavior. And they don't betray us. They probably will. Uh, but also the king will probably betray us, which is also terrifying. So we've got like betrayal at every corner right now. And here we just have Anne just trying to get back home while everyone else has ulterior motives. So we'll see. <laughs> but I am very, very excited. Um, I do want to say I will be reacting to True Colors um, the same day that it airs. I will be prioritizing that over my hero for May 1st. Um, I can't guarantee I will get it up at a nice time. I'm hoping to get up early and watch it just because I do have other plans that day. So I'm going to try my best to make sure I get it up in time. But I might have to just um, upload it a little bit later. But I'm going to try to get it up that Saturday. No, I will watch it on Saturday. Um, it'll probably be up on my Patreon, but YouTube may take a little bit to get up. So we'll see. I'm gonna try my best. So thank you guys so much for watching. It means so much to me. Please remember to go support the official release of the show over on the Disney Now site and on Disney Plus. And of course, if you like my content, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Comment down below. Let me know you, you guys think about the episode and which song was your favorite i'm kind of curious i gotta listen to them more this side but i think the amphibio one was really cute so we'll see so thank you guys so much and i'll see you all later bye <laughs>